Happy Thursday and welcome to this week's Job with Jason, your weekly real estate and mortgage update. Guys, this week's topic, it's a big one. It's always a big topic with Job with Jason, but it's, one, it's a question I'm getting all the time, two or three times a day. Uh, again, it's, hey, what is your interest rate? So um, I always think it's kind of a funny question because there's like 18 different things at minimal that goes into your interest rate, okay? I wanna go over today a couple of the top items that help dictate what interest rate you get. So we do shop your loan across eight different banks and we usually choose the one with the best interest rate and the best terms for you, but here are at least six or seven things that go into it that you might not be thinking of. So number one, it's the big one that you all know about, is your credit score, right? The higher the credit score, the lower the interest rate. So that's mandatory. There are breaking points at the credit score. So a 780 credit score, 740, 720, and as you go down, the interest rate goes up, all right? Number two, both of these work hand in hand the loan amount and the down payment, okay? So basically the rule of thumb is this, the higher the loan amount, the better the interest rate, okay? Um, so it's, I always get the question from clients, hey, I want the best rate out there. I'm putting $300,000 down on a $400,000 house. Well, the drawback to that is you're only borrowing $100,000. Just because you put a huge down payment down doesn't mean you'll get a better rate. It could actually be the opposite. So basically a $400,000 loan the bank draws interest faster on a lower interest rate than a lower loan amount. So they raise the rate to make up for that, all right? Uh, number three is the term, okay? So in mortgages, you have a 30-year mortgage, a 20-year mortgage, a 15-year mortgage, and a 10-year mortgage typically, right? The shorter the term, the lower the interest rate because the bank's exposure is, is less risky because the money's out there less at less time, all right? Uh, the fourth thing is the loan type, okay? Depends on the property type that you're buying. Single family residents, you get the best interest rates. Then it goes downhill from there. It goes single family residents, investment properties, um, and then also different types of houses as well too. All right, so that can all go into it. Um, the next thing is the time frame that you lock the loan, all right? 30 day locks are the best. That's where you get the best interest rate pricing because you're closing quickly. But the longer you hold that lock, the higher the interest rate or the higher the adjustment, if you will. So 45 days, not much of a difference, but when you get 60 days and more on an interest rate lock, that interest rate or the cost of the rate can go up, all right? Um, escrows, do you have insurance and taxes including your payment or not? So it's not much of a difference, but you do get a little bit better deal on the interest rate if you do include insurance and taxes. And if you don't, you can pay a one-time fee to kind of get around that. The last but not least, is portfolio loans. So there are some niche products that are coming back out there. Um, we have a 95% doctor's loan up to a million dollars. It's an awesome, fantastic uh, loan. Interest rates a little bit higher than a normal single family, okay? Um, but there's also some other portfolio loans that we work with banks in the area that does stuff that's outside the box uh, that Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac can't do. They're great loans, they get you in the house, but they're riskier loans, so they carry a higher, higher interest rate. So if you have any questions, the best rule of thumb is, is do a complete loan application. Let us get all those 16 to 20 bullet points we need. Let's put it in the system and we'll go out and shop you for the best interest rate. Give me a call if you have any questions, 281-882-8888.